Today we tackled the five paragraph essay, which is a go-to formula for answering open response questions in high school, college, and on standardized tests like MCAS and SATs. The five paragraph essay formula is an effective approach to communicate your knowledge on a topic to a teacher. Now, this is not a technique that's going to win you any writing awards, and we talked a little bit today about how good writing is like a piece of art. Its beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This isn't supposed to be Pulitzer Prize winning work. This is really just a formula, again, for communicating to a teacher who's giving you a grade that you know something about a particular topic. We discussed today that the first step to writing a five paragraph essay is to organize your thoughts in a graphic organizer. And the graphic organizer that we use in the social studies department is the house. You will notice that as you go through your years here in Weymouth, your house graphic organizer will get increasingly more complicated and there will be some additions to your house and there will be evidence that needs evidence and that kind of thing but for now we're starting with a very basic formula a very simple uh, organizer for your work and in class today I actually ended up sort of calling out a particular student in, in each group and kind of identifying them as looking particularly fantastic that day. And I mentioned things like the top that the, the student was wearing or the shoes or the hairdo. And we sort of use this as an example of how we would organize our thoughts about a topic into an essay. And so the subject of our pretend essay in class was the student that I was calling out. So we're going to just call her Kelly. And the direction or, or what we're saying about Kelly is that she looks fantastic. And I, you know, gave the, the reasons, the shirt, the shoes, the hair. As we continue to complete our graphic organizer, for each of the reasons, you would need to include more descriptive details, more evidence, something that explains exactly why these shirt and shoes and, and hair is so fantastic. Now, taking the house to an essay, your first paragraph, your introduction, which sets the stage, provides some background, includes as a last sentence the very important SD3R thesis statement. To make the thesis statement, all you need to do is rewrite the subject, the direction, and those three reasons into one sentence. From there, your second paragraph includes reason one rewritten as a topic sentence and the evidence pieces rewritten, rewritten into supporting sentences. And this continues for paragraph three with reason two as a topic sentence and the evidence pieces as the supporting sentences and the same thing for paragraph four. Ultimately, we get to your conclusion, which brings closure to your essay. It should certainly match the ideas that was set forth in your thesis statement, but since this is only a five-paragraph essay, it's not necessary to actually restate the thesis. A very good idea if you're doing a longer paper, but for this, um, your conclusion really just needs to kind of look to the future. It'd be great if you could acknowledge any limitations in your argument, but really what you're trying to do is, is reveal your bottom line. What is the point? Why does the reader need to know this? And in the case of the essay that, that we had practiced, I was saying, you know, you need to look at this girl and her outfit today and know that it is possible to be cool and comfortable and still comply with dress code. Now, the other reason why I really want you to use the house as a graphic organizer gets us back to how we started class today with the making of that puzzle. And you'll notice that, you know, not everybody started with that blank piece of paper at the top and worked all the way down to the bottom. Instead, when you have a graphic organizer, it gives you the ability to work on sections of the essay and kind of piece it all together. You could do the top, the bottom, the middle, and really work on it at your own pace as needed.